everybody. I'm here with Barbara Klein. Hey, Barbara. Hi, Alex. And I forget, where do you live? Virginia. Are you freezing? Uh, we were freezing, but now we're pretty nice and warm. Nice. Well, we've been trying to get together for a Skype call, um, but night, or 2017 just got in the way. I don't know. <laughs> you know a lot of stuff. <laughs> so tell us what you're up to. And by the way, that quilt behind you is amazing. Oh, well, thank you. So um, I'm here to talk about my new book, Magic at a Strip Quilts. And so you might kind of want to know what the magic in it is. Yeah. And so the magic is putting a strip inside of a block. Okay. And, and it can be one strip. It can be two strips. And then um, making designs within that element of the book. Well, is that quilt behind you an example of it? Yes, it is. And so um, in this quilt back here, you can see that it is a baby block layout or a tumbling block. Right. And it's right. made up of all diamonds. And so, for instance, this diamond here has two strips that are, well, the, the diamond block is sliced and then these strips are put in. But then that's how you get your design. So um, maybe you can see a little better on the screen. No, no, I so see. The, okay, so this green um, section has uh, the green diamond with black stripes put in. And then the black one is the opposite coloring where I put it in the star. So that's kind of the concept of the whole book. Uh, and there's different block layouts, whether it's in a square, a triangle, a diamond. Or just an odd shape. By chance, do you have an example of that? I do. Okay. So, um, so this one was a diamond block layout. This one is a square block layout. Oh so my gosh! If you see, you can see the little square here, and it also has two slices. Uh huh. And so these are squares on top of squares. Another one, let me show you a triangle, which this would be a right angle triangle. Did you come up with this, Barbara? Yes, I did. Do you have a little bit of math in your background or something? Uh, I love math in okay. school. <laughs> <laughs> we were in different classrooms. <laughs> and then this one here, you're going to say, what's the shape? How's it work? <laughs> right, right. Yeah, what is it? Diamond? So, the odd shape, and I think you can see it the best with it being right here. And it's not really a half of a diamond because when I pieced it, I didn't want 12 points to come. Yeah. I, I so many points to come together. So the, it's, a, it's a slant of a diamond is what it is. Are these and hard, so, Barbara? Or, I mean, what, what level of a quilt maker? I mean, the square one uh, I get. But... They're all levels. They're all levels. Okay. So the blue one, the blue one that I held up was probably the simplest. Right, okay. right. Okay, and then this one probably is uh, the most challenging because this would be in uh, a baby block layout, so there's inset seams. But I always say, if you learn how to do inset seams, not a problem. No, you know what? They 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 seem scary, but they're not. Yeah. They're not. No, they're definitely not. So are you running around? Are you running around the country um, teaching this? I am. I am. So yeah, wherever a guild or a group will have me, I'll go teach at their guild. And what if I wanted an autographed copy of your book? What do I do? You go to my website, which is www.delightfulpiecing.com, uh -huh. and to get the signed copy, you put in the shipping request or the comments, I should say, please sign my book. That's so great. Now, this was your fifth book. Are you, do you have something else that, well, you can't tell me, but do you have something else up your sleeve? I really don't. I think my brain is exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love, I love it. I, well, I told my husband on, I think the third book, that, that'll be it. There's no more, but then the more ideas come off. And right. So one and fifth one, but I'm pretty sure this this might do it. Well, I think the quilt behind you, I mean, really, it's a traditional concept, but that is so contemporary looking, you know? Yeah. 
Well, one thing that I did in this book is I have six sisters and a sister-in-law and my daughters and my daughter-in-law each chose a block in the book and then they put their own spin to it. Nice. So the quilt that is here on the front cover here is the same quilt that is behind me. And my quilt is like a king size quilt. And so she downsized it. So they could do whatever they wanted to with their block. They could put sashing in. They could put spacer blocks. They could mess with layout. So um, that's kind of another little added feature in the book. I would be remiss to not ask who did the quilting on that quilt behind you. It's beautiful. I did. Oh, nice. Are you on a long yeah. arm? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Just Down beautiful. Early. Well, it's great chatting, and everyone, I have to tell you, we've had a little bit of a trouble getting together, seriously, just because of life and all that, and I'm so glad that it has worked out today, and we got technology working. It was not working, Bye. but we <laughs> prevailed with the help of John, right? Yeah. Well, will I see you at Spring Market, do you think? Uh, no, I don't think so. Not this year. Okay, well, I look forward to bumping into you somewhere soon. I hope so. <laughs> hey, Barbara, thank you so much. Right? And thanks for your patience this morning, because seriously, we had some technical issues. Oh, not a problem. Have a wonderful day, and thanks for your great brain. Oh, it was good being with you again, Alex. Take care. You too.